A world of art on a 125 foot timeline. I'm Jenny Spencer and this is Brookdale Newsmakers. Today's newsmaker is the CBA coordinator, Marie Maver. Thanks for joining us, Marie. My pleasure. So tell us about this mural in the CBA building. The mural has been with us for over a year now. Um, it was the idea of uh, Professor Dan Troll and uh, he worked with Brookdale to hire uh, Bob Martirangelo, who is an area muralist, uh, to organize the mural. Uh, but essentially what you have there is a, a large community project because I know over 45 people participated in that mural including uh, Brookdale faculty and students uh, came in and then there were also some people from the community um, not affiliated with Brookdale who worked on the mural as well. Um, so you want to know more about it and what, what the <laughs> images are? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> well yes, you can tell us about the images. I know, um, I know it goes from BCE all the way into the 20th century. I mean, that's, so that has to be a lot of artwork there. So tell us specifically, what, what about the artwork? What goes on? It does start with uh, the cave paintings and uh, one of the earliest figurines uh, known to humankind, a uh, fertility figurine from Willendorf. And so that's 28,000 BCE. Um, but you know, you don't have to know anything about art history to enjoy the mural. Uh, but it is kind of fun for our students who study art history to go out and take a look. Um, so the, it moves around from Paleolithic, Neolithic, Cycladic, Greek, Roman, Medieval, you know, so it's, it really follows a textbook. Half of the circle is ARTH 106, which would be the ancient through medieval um, art history. And then the second half starts with um, Michelangelo Sistine Chapel painting of the birth of man, where God's finger is touching Adam's finger, and um, so it's, you know, Art 107 starts with the Renaissance and then it moves through contemporary art. Um, so you can just imagine that on that second half of the mural you're going to see Baroque and Rococo uh, art, the introduction of photography, and he actually, what, this is one very clever thing that Bob does do is he brought in, um, he had our photo department make actual photos to put on the mural. So there's a bit of a 3D kind of look to the mural too. Um, and it, also Impressionist paintings are there. Uh, Degas ballerina, uh, Rodin's thinker is there, uh, and a beautiful, the last painting is a uh, Matisse uh, painting that has a fishbowl. So it's, it's very colorful, it's very lively, and people do come in and just linger to enjoy the mural. It's very nice. Wow, it seems like a lot of work uh, put into this from students, from, from muralists, from everyone. How long did that take? Uh, I believe it really was a December through May timeline uh, for people to work on the mural. And I know what first happened, uh, Bob came in and he divided up the, the circular wall into panels. And then people were able to sign up to take charge of a panel. Um, he wanted faculty to sponsor students to make sure there would be, um, you know, someone really responsible to finish each panel. Um, and then he basically did several of the panels himself. He painted several of the more complex panels himself. Uh, and then people came in and got busy. And there were people painting here over the break that year uh, between December and January before classes started. So it was really an exciting time. Yeah. Now, so how could, if anyone any of our viewers wanted to see the mural, how could they, um, they come in any time or is there a time? I guess, you know, the building is open. Um, probably six days a week because I know we have classes on Saturdays as well. Um, we do have a little flyer there by the, by the mural that people can pick up and you know they can take it with them as a souvenir. Um, but they're free to stroll around the mural. We would just ask that if there's classes going on inside that, uh, the circular walls that they stay quiet, you know. Keep their oohs and ahs down to a, like a low roar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet there'll be a whole bunch of oohs and ahs. Yeah. I can't wait to go visit it myself. Right. And um, it's great. Thank you so much for being with us today, oh, my pleasure. Marie. Thank you. This hour's newsmaker has been the Center for Visual Arts Coordinator, Marie Maber. I'm Jenny Spencer, and this is Brookdale Newsmakers, seen exclusively on Brookdale Television and Brookdale On Demand. For more information, join us online at brookdalecc.edu.